Okay, now thanks for uh, agreeing to uh, talk with us uh, this morning. Could you first of all introduce yourself, say who you are and what your role in the organisation is? Yeah, um, I'm Nev Valmers Bottom. I'm, I'm an immediate, immediate past chairman of the, of the club itself, national chairman. Currently though now, having fallen off the perch as one says, I am now just responsible for the management of this stand that, on the club's behalf at Event City this week. I've got a number of colleagues on the stand this weekend, as well as paid staff on the stand. The recruitment of new members on the stand is always done by voluntary officers. Oh, right. So it's people who do it for the love of it. The people ways. here this weekend, given if they're like me, they're retired. Yeah. If they're not, they're still at work. They've given up two days annual leave from their full-time work to come and stand here and talk to potential members about what they've achieved and how much they enjoy this club. Yeah. Just for viewers, so they understand why the clubs actually come to these shows, what, what, what are your main reasons for, for coming to the shows? I mean, perhaps just recruitment, which is obvious, but are there other reasons? Yeah, we, we obviously believe that where there is a, a, leisure, a pastime, leisure time activity that involves caravans, motor caravans, tents, we need to have a presence. Yes, this last couple of years we've reviewed what we expect to get from the show. Yes. Do we want just recruitment yeah. or do we want to do something else? Yeah. And as, as members will realise and potential members will realise that this year we have done something totally different, real brainstorming, we've actually created a members area on the stand where members can come in, talk to us and we can hopefully enlighten them as to services that the club can provide for them that they're not currently using. So we're, what we're really doing is, yes, there's a group of people on the stand here to recruit potential and recruit new members, and there's another group of people on the stand, the full-time paid staff from Coventry, who know much more about the service detail, services in detail, so they're able to talk to current members whilst they have a bite of lunch on the stand about what the club can do from them other than provide them with the camp and the caravan inside. Right. Does, does it have a measurable impact, it must do, on, on, on recruitment? And are, are you finding year on year that coming to the Manchester show in particular is good for recruitment? Uh, providing the numbers come through the door, yes. Yeah. We, I don't know. We are, we all, I always set the staff targets at the moment we have to say, possibly due to the weather conditions that have been experienced this weekend, our targets are running slightly behind. Whether we'll pick them, I don't know. But yes, you know, recruitment's there, and we gain mo most years, or should I say, in the last 29 years, we have never failed to recruit 1% of the footfall into the shop. Well, that's very good. So, in terms of the event city venue, do you think this is better than the previous ones? Oh, that gives you, that gives us mixed feelings, obviously. Yeah. From the organisers' point of view, it's got to be better because it's bigger, and they can get more in it and potentially get more people. Yeah. And the fact that there's free car parking outside makes it better. Oh, yes. From from an experience point of view, and a coziness of one might say, I think our voluntary officers on the stand prefer GMAX. Right, yeah. Because it was a much cosier atmosphere, but yeah, ultimately one has to say this is a better venue than GMEX. Yeah. The, the beauty with GMEX was when the show organisers put a late night on, it meant we benefited at the late night because people were in the city centre. And you're right on the tram stop there as well. Yeah. yeah. Whereas here, people have got to, got to travel in or they, you know, to get here in the first place. So the late night works, but doesn't work as good as GMAX, in my view. No, no, yeah, yeah. In, in terms of wider issues, what impact is the internet having, do you think, on the, on the industry in general and the club in particular? Oh, the club, is, oh, the, the internet in that respect, I suppose, is really working very well for the club. Yeah. Because we get our, our biggest recruitment source at the currently isn't shows, it's the internet. Yeah. We get far greater recruitment from people going on the internet looking at the club than we, than we are doing for shows. But again, we believe we have to have a presence 
at, at this sort of event. Yeah, absolutely. I think it's a mixture of both, isn't it? Because, yeah. because the lifeblood of the industry are new young people coming through, and they're very much the I generation, aren't they? They're, everything's wired and the internet. They use these things, don't they? Yeah, yeah they do. Don't even get me started on that. Yeah, they, they, they do. Um, on another one, that, that what, what we get in the media, we, we get a criticism from people that we don't stand up enough against the big manufacturers, um, the big caravan manufacturers um, in England, and, and that you know there's not a consumers' association voice. Um, does the club see itself fulfilling that and standing up for the small guy against the big, oh, big manufacturers? We definitely do. Yes. Um, yeah, we, 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 we currently at the moment carry out an annual survey at our, at our, our National Feast of Lanterns yeah. with members seeking their information on their units, what problems they've had, and then we, you know, we age the caravan. Yeah. And then if we get, we find that there is a pattern with different accessories in a van or different van constructions, we'll, we'll go there and we'll thump the drum yeah. with the manufacturers. We quite successfully thumped the drum a number of years ago with our friends Luna. Uh, yeah. When they were renowned for one little problem, weren't they? Leaking Luna. Oh, I wasn't going to say that. <laughs> yeah, I can, yeah. yeah you yeah, can yeah, say yeah, that, yeah. I wasn't going to say it. But we believe through that with our club exec of the day and the club chairman, we managed to get convinced them that they needed to improve their construction. Well, that's really interesting because and I think that's that did work. One. Yeah, no, we don't. Wants. We don't hear about Leaky Lunas anymore. No, no, you don't. No, no. They like Luna now. I think is yes. what they would what, yeah. what they would say. Is there anything in the show that you've seen yourself that you thought is interesting, exciting? Now I've got to bear and say, hold on, I haven't gone beyond the stand. Beyond the stand. I haven't had a chance to go beyond the stand. They don't let you out. But I let the, I let you let them out. I let them out, but I stop here. You so stop here. I, unfortunately, I can't you, help you. You, you can't answer that. And nobody's just come back and said, oh, we've seen this, never, we've seen that. No. Okay. Finally, then, is there anything you'd you'd like to share with us that we haven't thought to ask you about? Anything in the club? Anything you care to uh, tell us? Just. Tell everybody what a good club we are, the Camp and the Caravanning Club. And we're here, we look after our members, an organisation run by the members, for the members. That's right, lovely, thank you very much. Right. Thank you very much. Nice one. Cheers. Yep.